Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So today I'm coming to you with an oracle card reading, uh, your weekly oracle, and I know it's a little bit late, so I just want to apologize about that. I've just been extraordinarily exhausted in the last uh, few days, and so I wasn't really able to get this out to you. I've just needed a lot of rest. And um, yeah, I actually have been quite busy since the start of this year. I've been uh, relocating as well as um, attending to old business and and taking care of a lot of matters so I'm very delayed in, in a lot of things that I need to do including uploading videos for this channel but uh, the good news is that I'm in an old home that I used to occupy and a lot of my old tarot cards are here and so in the next months I'm going to be making lots more videos using different cards that I haven't actually used in the in the last year or in the last year and a half since I began the channel. So um, yes, today we're using the Oracle of Visions um, Oracle deck here by Ciro Manchetti. And we have uh, three options. We have this stone here and this one and this one here. And um, yeah, you can make a selection from these three options and go down to the description box where you'll find the timestamp. I wish you a lovely reading. So for those of you who've chosen the first option here, we are asking the question, what is our Oracle guidance in the week ahead? So what is our Oracle guidance in the week ahead? And I apologize for shaking the camera occasionally. So what is our Oracle guidance in the week ahead? So we have this card here. So the way in which I'd like to read this card is um, it feels very much in accordance with the stone, which talks about finding a balance. And I feel it's about finding a balance between the religious symbols or one's faith as one holds dear to oneself versus rationality, logic and reason. And so this may extend beyond faith and beyond one's religious beliefs to also uh, separating what is real from what is imagined. It may also be used in the realm of uh, separating emotions from reason. So if you're in a if you're in a situation in your life right now, or if you are grappling with something where you are have very strong emotions, the advice that's given here is to step away from those emotions. It's actually to look at reason. It's look look at uh, it's not to say that you should deny those emotions or you should not feel so strongly, but it's saying to you that there is another side of this coin. You know, it's as if this one side of the coin is emotion and the other side of the coin is reason and what is. And this card is talking about finding a balance between what is and what is the 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 actual emotion that you're feeling, because the the reason that you're feeling this emotion is it's not exactly what you think it is it's not because um these people are bugging you or things are not working out the way they should or because there's something else here um about what somebody else has done to you or an institution has has done to you it's more like you need to recognize where is it that you feel a certain way because of something that you are not giving yourself. Because very often what's happening around us is actually a reflection of the way in which we treat ourselves. So if we treat ourselves with more respect, if we are there for ourselves, then we'll find that others are there for us. If we are there, if we are respecting ourselves and, and treating ourselves kindly and gently, then we'll find that others will treat us the same way. Whereas if we treat ourselves quite harshly and we are working like dogs and we are just slaving away and not giving us ourselves the chance to rest and to take care of ourselves then we'll find that others expect us that from us they expect us to work away and they don't really think that we need that rest so we really um, are sending out messages to everyone around us all the time by the way in which we treat ourselves by the way in which we handle ourselves whether we're handling ourselves with with respect or with kindness um or caring for ourselves or whether we are disrespecting ourselves by procrastinating or by um uh, actually not like working too hard being a, a workaholic is the other extreme you know just doing too much and not really having time for balance 
So for me, this card is, is very much about balance and not blinding ourselves to our emotions or our faith. Um, and, and looking at how uh, our emotions or our faith can actually get in the way of really understanding what is truth and what is uh, not true. So it talks about wa walking away from uh, from ideas that you might have held dear to you and actually feeling what is right, not through high emotion or reacting to something, but feeling what is right that comes from within you and creating your own religion in a way from what's within you based on how you feel and measuring your environment through your feelings. This is not to say that you should discard religion or that you should uh, discard your personal beliefs altogether, but to say to step away for it, from it for a moment because sometimes it's blindsiding you and you're not actually going to be able to see what you need to see right now because you hold certain beliefs very dear to you. So that is a very abstract way of actually describing this energy of this card. And um, I, the advice that I could give you here is to say that take a look at yourself and take a look at the situation at hand where you have high emotions or where you're reacting quite strongly to something. You know, perhaps it's something administrative. Perhaps it, it has to do with uh, an administrative matter like um, like doing some taxes or something like this. Uh, or perhaps it has to do with somebody and the way they've treated you or the way you have perceived that they've treated you. Or perhaps you are feeling like you are being left out of a particular situation or you're being ostracized for some reason. If you're having these feelings, it is to say, take a step back from everything and try to look at it from outside of yourself. So try to give yourself advice as if you were your own child or try to give yourself advice as if you were your best friend and then see the situation from outside of you in the eyes um, of, of that best friend or if you were the mother of your yourself. And look at it like that and, 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 and see how you could do yourself better, how you could do something for yourself that you're lacking at this moment, because here it feels like there's a gift for you. And uh, when you actually are able to find this gift inside of you, when you are looking at yourself and at the situation in a more rational uh, way, then you will find that you can move on. The wheel of fortune is there and it will help you move on and move on from the situation. So right now you've been grappling with something that's been almost holding you hostage for a while. And it's time for you to take a look at it in a different way. The way I, I'm seeing it is that there's not much that can be done for you to change the minds of others or to change the situation outside of you. The only thing that you can really do here is to change how you see the situation and once you do that you will find that things around you start changing immediately because once you approach things from a different perspective you kind of find that you have a, a much um, much more control over the situation because immediately as you react to something differently everything else changes immediately everything starts changing but if you're constantly reacting in the same way or acting towards something in the same way then you're going to find that you, and if you're constantly coming up against a block or things are not moving or you're still upset, then you are not moving the situation. So try to change something about how you're looking at, at a particular situation or how you're dealing with a particular situation. And you're going to find that everything else moves as well. There is evolution here. Uh, there is a change that's coming up. It's about, it's up to you to ask yourself to recognize that change and to see the change and to, to acknowledge that that change quite literally and in summary what the card is saying is don't be blind uh, by your feelings or by your beliefs and not see what's really going on here allow yourself to step outside of your beliefs and outside of your feelings and see the situation for what it is and then you will see that there is change and then you'll be able to create more change because of your change of perspective all right, so that's that message for you, for those of you who've chosen this first option here today. I wish you a fabulous week ahead and until the next uh, weekly oracle. Thank you very much for coming by. So for those of you who've cho chosen the second option here, we're asking, what is our oracle guidance for this week? What is our oracle guidance for this week? And there are two cards that have fallen out here. I think we can go with them. It feels right to actually go with these cards. Okay, so the one thing I want to say when I see these cards, when I feel these cards, 
um, is that there is this uh, feeling of actually being insulted or being or taking something quite seriously something that doesn't need to be taken seriously or at least it feels quite sore for you because you've taken it seriously it's hurting you and it's hurting your feelings there might be a, a, an area in your life where your pride has been damaged or you've lost some kind of uh, feeling of being respected or you feel like you need to prove yourself in some way and if you are in such a situation the advice is that you should take some time to look after yourself and to actually heal yourself and to see what it is that you truly feel in this situation before you rush out to prove yourself here. It might be a situation where there's been an injustice done to you or where somebody has not really seen you for who you are or, or they've tried to insult you in some kind of way. Or you felt uh, like you've been left out or you felt not heard or not seen in some area of your life. Or you felt as if that which you can offer is no longer needed or no longer valued. And it's saying here that one of the things that you can do is reinvent yourself. But it's not necessarily so that you need to go back and 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 show yourself to these people who have not seen you. Um, it's not necessarily so that you need to prove yourself to these people you don't need their approval and what you need is to recognize the value that you have in yourself through all of your skills and everything that you have at your avail and the message is that you know for you to recognize that you're a unique individual with many many attributes to you you're not just um you know fill in the blank you're not just one thing you're not just that you're not just uh, a mother or a daughter or a worker, or colleague, or uh, it, whatever your role is. It's not. It's an, you're not just that. You have many, many attributes to you, and you have many, many skills. And it's for you to be able to recognize that and to see that and to feel and to protect that, to protect that which is yours, and to to stand up for yourself as far as that is concerned. But it doesn't necessarily mean that you need to go back and seek the approval of these people or these things. Now, I know the way in which I'm putting across th these messages is as if um, it has a, a particular kind of structure to it, because the way in which I'm seeing this is that it's almost like you've been, um, and it might apply to some of you, I guess, but it might be that you have not been valued in your work environment, or you've been laid off, or you've been taken off a project, or you've been... Um, insulted by somebody in the work environment and, and the feeling here is for you to, that you want to go back and you want to prove yourself to these people and you want to show them what you're made of but the advice is that it's up to you to appreciate y your attributes and your skills you know what it is that you have and it, you need to actually accept that for you you know what it is that you have and so why is it that you're allowing these other people or or whatever it is to actually make you feel less than you, what you are. It might also not be people. It might be that your work, uh, the way in which it's going right now, makes you feel that way for some reason. But the advice here is to actually look in and go deeper and see all the things that you made of, not just the one job that you're doing right now. So, you know, perhaps you work as a clerk in, in your position. And this is just an example once again. So it doesn't apply to every single one of you. Um, but I'm using it as an example. So it gives you an idea of what I'm trying to say. Um, basically, if you work as a clerk, right, it might be that at home you can also be, you're also a healer. You're also doing some healing things and you, you're also painting and you're also writing and you're also, you know, you're an artist as well. And it's saying uh, to you, value those things that are you. You need not see yourself as a clerk in your job, in your life, because that's what's earning your money at this moment, or that's where you're spending most of your time. You need to see yourself, uh, the bigger picture of yourself and to see what you're made of because there are many layers to you and you're made of many uh, different attributes. You have so so many layers. Uh, you are so uh, rich and textured in what it is that you can offer and what it is that you are for yourself. And so you don't need just to be able to prove a point to, to the others or to actually grasp that attention that 
is potentially what you are missing right now. You need simply to recognize all that you're made of because from there comes the answers. And when you see what it is that you're made of, um, the gates will open and, and the doors will open You and you'll be able to go through a different uh, kind of portal of energy and understanding of who you are and what it is that you truly are here to do and and how it is that you can benefit yourself and so you don't need to reinvent yourself for others or create a facade for others to see in order to protect yourself you don't need to embark upon this uh, reaction or this way of being where you need to present yourself in a particular way what they are saying is that it's it's not about you uh, bowing down and and being that which they expect from you but it's rather about you being as authentic as you can possibly be and if you were to be authentic what would you be that describe yourself if you were to be yourself completely and not uh, wearing a mask for those around you or for those people that are in your work environment or in your network then who would you be and so those are some of the questions that these cards raise and ask you to uh, to to take a look at and um, it's not to say that you cannot be a queen in your own life it's not to say that you cannot have the popularity that you desire if you, it is that you desire that it's not to say that you cannot be respected and admired in uh, the way in which you are putting yourself across or what you're doing right now that's it's not that to say that but uh, what they are saying is that you should not allow other others lack of attention or admiring you define you in any way or form it's up to you to recognize your value and recognize your worth regardless of whatever financial difficulties you are having or whether you've been turned down for promotion or you've been um rejected from you know with um f with job applications etc this is not what you need to focus on you need to focus on what it is that you can give yourself in this moment and who it is that you are and how authentic you can be so i hope that message has been helpful on some level and that um it's a very once again it feels to me sometimes when i do these things that the message is so specific and it just won't resonate for a bunch of you maybe it just resonates for one of you uh but um I, w I really appreciated last week's uh, Oracle card reading because so many of you wrote in and told me that the messages were useful and I love to know when they are. So do when they are useful, please let me know. And uh, yeah, I hope that the week ahead is going to be a great week for you. And um, I haven't mentioned this with the other readings, but I am planning to upload the videos more often on a Sunday uh, once again and not on a Monday or Tuesday so it's just that I'm a little bit late this week so I wish you a fabulous week ahead and many many blessings to you all so for those of you who have chosen the last option here um, the question we're asking is what is our weekly oracle guidance so what is our weekly oracle guidance Okay, this card that's flown out here and I feel inclined to go with it. So this card actually talks about um, how many people you have in your life and how you actually manage these people. And it's not about the number. I feel that this card talks about your understanding of yourself in relation to other people. So if you have more reclusive tendencies and if you are more likely to a stay away from people you might understand that you need people at this moment or you might realize that one of the things that's missing in your life um, are pe is a person or are people if you have been uh, surrounded by people and you're quite outgoing and you quite uh, socially active you might find that taking time away from people right now may serve you and may serve you better Another way of looking at this is, uh, and this card, or another message here for you this week, I should say, because this would apply to some of you and not all of you, is that it's time to look at your life and look back at, at who has defined you and how have you been, how your life has, has been defined as a result of your interaction with certain people or your relationship with certain people. And actually to, to retrace your step back from there and see how it is that you can go back and live the life that you may have been or you may have had had you not had these people in your life or these people influence your life and see who you might have been there so it might just be that you do an exercise with yourself and you know draw some timelines and look at how certain people have influenced you and how that has ultimately decided where you would be with yourself as well as where you'd be with life it's and 
And then to see, well, if you hadn't gone that path, well, where would you have gone to and who would you have been? Because this card here is asking you not just to understand yourself in relation to other people and their influence in your life, but also to understand yourself and the different aspects of you within yourself. So all these people are a reflection of yourself in you and they all are somehow stored in you and your psyche because they've influenced you and because they've made an impression of you, a valuable impression in you. And so it's this card is basically talking about um, working with yourself in relation to other people. And it also ties into the energy where there is this feeling that now is the time to, to if you've been keeping away from crowds or people to actually go back into that energy and feel what that's like again and if you've had been if you've been a lot with people to actually retreat from them and that is one of the energies of this of this time and i'm going to going to do an energy forecast and and we're going to talk about that a little bit more so the other message i'm getting here is that for some of you it would be worthy to actually look at your ancestral heritage and to see what you may have inherited from a genetic point of view and what you may have had inherited from a karmic point of view and how that influences you as well as your family and your loved ones in general or um, also to look at friends that you've you have and their karmic inheritances and how that has influenced your life but it's looking not just at those who are still in your life right now but maybe those who've passed on as well and perhaps as I mentioned um, people who've lived before you there's this mechanism um, sorry but there is this mechanism here that is at play in your life and it is at play only because of the interactions that you've had with these people in your life and this card is really talking to you about um, understanding that better because if you were to w make some changes or you wanted to make some changes then you're going to find that you understanding this mechanism of how you've been influenced by others is going to be a very valued uh, contribution to that. It's almost as if uh, there's something big that's coming up in your life and you need to understand how you've got to the point that you've gotten to and what everything that's influenced you to this moment in order for you to welcome that which is coming and it's almost like you're preparing for that without really realizing it so for those of you who that message resonates you you'll probably find that the changes will come by the end of april or may this year um the other message here is that um you need to look at whose voices are in your head and who's who is influencing you at this moment who is this your voice or is this the voice of your mother or father or your friend or your teacher um, or your lecturer or your professor or your your boss or you know your employee or whoever it is have you the voices of others in your head right now is that what making you actually respond the way you are in your life right now or is this your authentic voice and if you were to strip these voices away from you, then what would be the voice and who would be that person? Would it be you? And so those are some of the questions that you can ask here. This is a card which actually talks about um, you coming to one with yourself and you coming back to your individualism. And in order for you to be able to do that, in order for you to come back to yourself, you need to actually recognize all the people who've influenced you and understand what you really are and who you really are at your core. It is also to understand that a lot of what you understand and what you feel are reflections and projections and to see it for what it is and not to take too many of these things too seriously or not to be bogged down by it too much or not to let it hurt you too much if there are painful experiences. So that is your message for those of you for this week. It, it's also a very... Um, clear message you know there's it's a very direct message here and i hope that has resonated with you and it will be of help for you to do those exercises that um i have suggested to you in this time and um yeah i wish you all a blessed week ahead may you have uh all that you desire as you go along in this week and um much love for me and blessings abound from kismet Rising.